Now let's see how Dolly can modify existing images. We looked at using Dolly to generate images completely from scratch, but now we're going to, to use it to make these modifications. Now one thing that I'll point out is that this is not a feature that is currently built into Dolly 3, so I am using Dolly 2. You'll want to keep track, and while I'm speaking, let's go ahead and run this. You'll want to keep track of where Dolly 3 is at and, and, and future versions, certainly, but be aware that these features are not there. Now, I'm granting access to it because I have my API key stored in Google Colab. So there we get access to my OpenAI API key because you do need OpenAI API to do this. So we're going to see first how to extend an, uh, an image and then secondarily, we're going to see how to generate variations on an image. So first we need an image. And I am going to use this image. This is on my deck. I really need to get the power washer out there, but Anyway, that's my deck. That's my dog, Hickory. He shows up in some of these videos. And we're going to do some extensions to this image. Now, what you need to do is, first of all, store these as PNGs, because PNG images do have a concept of transparency. So I need to make part of this image transparent, because that's going to be what you call the mask. That is the part of the image that your prompt is going to tell it to modify. So it's only going to modify the area inside of there, but it is aware of the rest of the image and what's going on. So here is the mask. So we're going to put something on the chair that is next to the dog. And by the way, that is the dog's chair. He always sits there. Uh, but this is, this, we're going to put something, something there. And Oftentimes when I'm, I'm putting together the, uh, the material for these, these classes, uh, often I'm sitting there right, right next to him. Yeah, we, we like to hang out on the deck. So here is what we're going to do. This is where these two images are stored. I have the original one stored Hickory Deck 1, and then Hickory Deck 2 is the mask. We are going to call this function here that uses the requests library in Python to basically load both of those two images in. So we need to load the original and then we need to load the second one, the mask. And here we can see that we are, that we have those. I'm showing you here too how you can just save a copy of it. Uh, you probably don't want to save copies of both of those. You'll probably save the generated one, but nonetheless, uh, that was some debugging. I'll probably remove that later. But here, um, we're going to basically do the edit on it. We're passing in the image as the, the first one, and then the second one, the mask. And I'm requesting to put a lion in there. Poor Hickory. He's going to be so scared. But it's just a cat. So he's... Actually, he's not real fond of cats. Big or little. So anyway, image URL, we, we, get the, we get this one. This is probably the one that you'll want to save using that save command that I put up there. I was debugging it earlier. And then it, it, it basically shows you it here. And here's the lion. You see the lion there. It's, it's kind, of a, kind of a sneaky lion. It's even, it's even behind there. But if you wanted to create a different lion, you could just run this and it's going to send both of those off to OpenAI, and it'll generate a different type of a lion. But that lion will still show up in that area that I created the mask for. So we'll go ahead and fast forward through this. And there you see the lion back there. And notice this, this is quite interesting. See the railing? The ra it, it, it respected the railing. It didn't just put the lion right there in front of the railing. So that, that's pretty cool. Hickory feels a little bit better about the lion being out there, but I mean, that lion could jump. That lion could probably jump from at rest and ruin Hickory's day. So next, let's create variations. 
we'll use an image that I generated from, from Dolly 3 using ChatGPT. You can see I've got a consistent theme here going for this, this particular one. Although they've got a pool. I, I, don't, ha I don't have a pool. So there's Hickory sitting, sitting out sunbathing in a very human-like pose. And what it's going to do is generate three variations on it. And you can see them here. Now this is Dolly 2, so they're not as realistic looking as Dolly 3. But Dolly 3 doesn't have this yet. So what we're going to do there is do the create variations. I create the function to display the image. Another function to load it from the URL. And then we will use the um, the Hickory cartoon. We'll load that and then we'll, we'll basically um, save it. We're going to loop through then because we asked for three variations and we extract them from the response that came back. And then these are our three variations that we got. So this is how you can use OpenAI Dolly to extend images. Uh, thank you for watching the video and if this was useful. Please give me a like, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of my future videos.